Hey, this is Greg Perkins, and here's a Leica like Captivate quick tip. There's lots of ways in Captivate to filter your data. So if I go to my job, go to view and edit data, look at my point list, if I press function filter, I typically use this as a point ID ascending or descending and have my settings to highest point class. But if I wanted to limit my view to a range of points, I could do that. Here I've set point number 100 to 150. When I press OK and look at my point list, you'll notice that I only see those points that I set. There are other ways to do this as well. View and edit data again, function filter, and I could do multiple point ranges. So here I would do 100 to 125, um, well, 115, comma, do point number 300, comma, and then 310 to 315, press OK. Now when I look at my point list, you'll see I have isolated these points. In Captivate version 8, we have a new icon here in the bottom left of our job that indicates that we have a filter on our points. Also, if you go into any of your stakeout functions and go into your point list, you'll also notice here in the upper right corner of your screen, you all see your filter. If I click on the filter icon, I, it takes me to my filter screen and I can reset my filter. If I'm here on the main page with my filter icon turned on, if I want to reset all of my filters to the highest point class again, I can set a hotkey. I'm here on a tablet, so I will hold down my stylus on my battery icon, which brings up my favorites menu. And I have set reset data filter to my screen here as number four. Get a note at the top of the screen that the data filter has been reset. When I go back and look at view and edit data, now all of my points show.